This is the New York Sports Machine on WICR. All right, Mike Demerges here with the New York Sports Machine for Jets Nation Radio. Interesting article this past week on an old-time Jet by the name of Mark Gastineau. Now, I know people under 30 years old might not really know who Mark Gastineau was, but let me tell you this. Mark Gastineau was nothing less than sensational, folks. Okay? Nothing less than sensational. How good was he? He was incredible. That's how good he was. Incredible. Nothing less than incredible. Let me read you off some numbers here. From 1980 through 1985, and this includes the strike-shortened year of 1982 when uh, they only played nine games, okay? Mark Gastineau had 92 sacks in 86 games. 92 sacks in 86 games over a six-year period. How's that for you? Better than Reggie White? Better than Bruce Smith? Better than Michael Strahan? Not only that, Mark Gaston had three, three seasons of 19-plus sacks and had two 20-sack seasons. How many 20-sack seasons did Reggie White have? One. How many 20-sack seasons did Bruce Smith have? None. They had one 19-sack season. How many 20-sack seasons did Michael Strahan have? One. One. And never had, and outside of that year, only had, never had more than 19. So the fact that Mark Gastineau is kind of ignored and, I don't know, an afterthought of the great defensive players is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Mark Gastineau, without question, along with his teammate, Joe Klecko, should be in the Hall of Fame. Mark Gastineau changed the way offenses use blocking schemes. Okay? Not only was he single-teamed, he was double- and triple-teamed at times. Dominated the defensive line. Changed game plans of offensive teams because they had to deal with Mark Gastineau. Was he great against the run? No, he was not great. Um, Was he and could be a little bit of an idiot on the field because of his celebrations? True. But look what goes on in football today. What Mark Gastineau did in the 80s, which the NFL banned the sack dance in 1984 was nothing compared to what goes on in the NFL today. Are you kidding me? Because you used to gyrate a little bit on the field? What goes on today with celebrations and off the field? Come on. It's time the NFL and the Pro Football Hall of Fame writers reached back in the archives and really gave homage to what Mark Gastro deserves and his teammate Joe Klecko. Joe Klecko was an all-pro at three different positions. That's how good he was. And before he blew out his knee in 1982, he was a 20-season sack sack guy. 1981, him and Gastineau both had 20 sacks. The amazing thing about Gastineau, even after Klecko's injury, he still went and had a 19-sack season and a 22-sack season. How about that? No disrespect to Reggie White, who was... Incredible, incredible, and could play the run as well. Also played interior line as well. No disrespect to Bruce Smith, but Bruce Smith always played from ahead. He played with Jim Kelly with that high-powered offense for those years. So there's a lot of times that Bill's offense was up, and all the defense had to do was pin back their ears and go get the quarterback. Mark Gastro didn't have that luxury. So it's time. You need to get the word out that Mark Gastineau and both Joe Kleckel belong in the Hall of Fame. It's an outrage that Klecko's not in the Hall of Fame. It's an outrage that Gastineau's not in the Hall of Fame. And Gastineau should be recognized as one of the premier, premier defensive players of all time. I'm Mike Demerges for the New York Sports Machine.